and uh, check the record button. Yeah, and now uh, full screen. Okay, so here we go. Right, so in the next uh, hour and a half, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can how you can attract a highly engaged audience, create connection with your community on Facebook, and convert more paying clients without the algorithm having uh, such a huge stranglehold on on your results. I'm going to be talking to you about a different way of um, approaching how you use Facebook so that you can reduce that um, that stranglehold that the algorithm has over you. So I'm going to share a strategy with you that has um, generated nearly 5,000 sales for me and my clients in the past six months, maybe seven months now, um, including one client who got £30,000. Um, from following what I'm going to be teaching you in four weeks. But I do want to, I want to start by saying, um, it's not, the, the strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you is not just about making money. Of course, all clients, all of my clients want measurable money results. But what this strategy is really about, first and foremost, is the connection. It's about earning attention from your audience. And then when you get all of the other pieces, um, of the jigsaw in place, you will make more sales at, at, as well, obviously, because sales are what we're here for in the business. But ultimately, it's about connection, it's about relationship, and it's about, it is about trust. It's, it's about an, a way that we can build trust with our audience, because as experts, trust is a huge part of our marketing. And if we can't build that trust with our community, we're going to struggle to, to find clients that want to, to hire us, okay? So that's what this is truly about, and then the money is the bonus, okay? So, allow, um, it's gonna be probably nearer 90 minutes. So allow, uh, give yourself the space, take loads of notes, and, and turn off any distractions where you can, because this is, what I'm gonna be sharing with you here is something you're gonna be able to replicate, um, not just on Facebook either, but, but the, the underlying foundation of what I'm teaching works absolutely everywhere online. So um, it, there's some pretty decent stuff here, um, decent content that you'll be able to take away and start applying. So here's the real problem with Facebook um, right now, is that many of the experts that you see out there, many of the people that you are actively following are extroverted online and um by um extroverted online i mean that they are happy and in flow in flow at ease with posting multiple times a day a constant stream of content they will think nothing and and not it, it will be easy for them to do webinars to create videos to write long form posts blog posts email all of the content all of the time now, most people who are teaching Facebook uh, and most of the strategies that are being taught for Facebook are extroverted strategies. Now, if that is not you, because we are all individual, and if that is not your flow, you're not going to find that easy at all. And, you know, I'm not. I'm not extroverted permanently, 24-7. I am. I, I'm what I would consider extroverted introvert. So I can do, I, I call this the rara, it's quite rara, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way, I mean it as in they're happy to be up there all of the time. Now I can do that for a short period of time, for an intensive period of time, but then I need to step back and, and be more under the ground. And what this strategy mostly is, is under the ground. It's not about you being rah, rah, rah more, and I'm going to share with you why that doesn't work anyway, and it's about you, it's about you being able to use your actual personality to, and still be more visible, and be more visible at the same time. Because if you try and apply extroverted marketing strategies, 
you're going to struggle to make that work because you're not going to be able to keep it up and you're going to be out of flow and if you're out of flow it's not fun and business should be fun i'm a real believer that everything that we sh- we do should be just have fun in it now that doesn't mean that your your day can't have to be fun from morning to night because you know stuff happens but we shouldn't be choosing marketing strategies in in my view that take you way out of flow and flow is different to comfort zone by the way sometimes you want to stretch your comfort zone but you cannot fundamentally change your personality so if you are not the extroverted driver then you don't have to be to make facebook work for you okay so what i'm going to be showing is another way a different way and i called it the maldi marketing because it's about depth rather than height and there's a little bit of a a word play there in that the extroverted way of, of facebook is mile high and we all know what the mile high club is and that's not what i'm saying but this way is mile deep so we have depth where um we create relationship we build trust and then that those trusting relationships spread uh, and you you create those uh th- those engaged communities i'm going to be sharing with you how we do that so mile deep is mile deep marketing is for for you to do marketing your way in flow if you are extroverted then you can take the mile deep marketing and be a bit louder with it but if you're not extroverted then i'm saying you don't have to protect, you don't have to try to be or force yourself to be or fundamentally change because mild deep marketing is a way for you to make facebook work your way so if you don't know me um i have built my business and, or, and my life to be fair from scratch by mild deeping online um it used to be twitter if you've known me for many many years <laughs> many many years um years ago it was uh i was mile deeping on twitter before that it was online forums all kinds of text conversation it's now facebook because facebook is where the biggest opportunities are and from mile deeping i have got to work with some of the biggest names and people know my name i'm not the most prolific poster i'm not the most prolific content creator but the people influencers know my name and they have hired me as a result of this my deep relationship now i started the business in 2008 what happened previously in my previous life i was um, a bookkeeper and i had um i created a business set up a business where i would go to clients and um work in their offices for half a day here and then i'd go somewhere else for a day and every day was going to work now that was a pretty successful business but you know i absolutely did not enjoy bookkeeping at all so what ultimately happened was um it i failed it it, not i didn't fail it failed it failed because i wasn't doing what i loved um i I created a job for myself basically as a result of that um i I was declared bankrupt in 2009 march 2009 and then um, I spent a year kind of uh, licking my wounds basically because it does take it out of you. If you've ever experienced bankruptcy, it does, uh, it, it does knock your confidence a little bit. And, you know, there was a point that that first year I thought I'd never be able to run a business again. So I took temporary jobs and um, still in bookkeeping. I wasn't allowed to be a book, uh, uh, you know, I had all their letters before they had to go when I went bankrupt. Um, but I absolutely detested these part-time jobs. And I used to sit at work daydreaming about writing from home. Now, one day I got called in, um, probably because I'd been daydreaming. I don't know. But I got called in and told that I wasn't uh, needed anymore and that I could go home now and never come back. And it was that point where I decided that you know the bankruptcy years were over um i wasn't going to punish myself for this anymore by taking jobs that i didn't want um and i wanted to work for myself from home 
Now, we are only a year on from bankruptcy. It's not, you don't recover from bankruptcy that quickly. Um, but Bill, my, my now husband, said that if I could make back my part-time income working from home within the next six months, I could carry on. Otherwise, he, we needed for me to go and get a job. So I was uh, absolutely determined at that point that that wasn't going to happen. There would be no more job because I, I just didn't want, uh, I made a decision, I didn't want to waste any more of my life punishing myself, which is basically what I was doing. And so having daydreamed about writing from home, I decided that what I would do would be to get um, freelance copywriting jobs. So I signed up for um, Elance, which was the biggest freelance platform at the time. And I started bidding for, for all of the jobs. I was bidding for jobs like blog writing and article writing, um, things that I knew that I could do. And very quickly, within a matter of weeks, I'd made back my um, part-time income. So I thought I was home and dry. However, what then started to happen was I was tired. It, it was... Um, it's really hard. I was out of flow again, basically. I was created myself another job. And I having to get up uh, and write for somebody else about stuff that I really didn't care about was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And one day, um, I received an email about um, a, a new business opportunity to do social media for business owners. And, you know, all the time I've been working prior to having the business and I had the business, I've been bankrupt, all of that time I'd been mile deeping online for social. I've been socialising online because um, when I was, uh, I was born with partial hearing loss, I was then diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of 12. And at 25, my driving licence was revoked. Um, after it was discovered that I had an eyesight condition, night blindness, and some tunnel vision. And when that happened, I moved my social life online, which really wasn't a thing back then. It was a very odd thing to do, but you know, odd. So that email was like a wake up call that, oh my God, I've been doing this thing for fun anyway, and you're telling me that I can actually get paid for it. Now, Bear in mind that um, Bill had given me the six months ultimatum, and, and we're already two months in. So I, but I knew uh, at, uh, at a gut level, soul level, that I was meant to do this, that this was my destiny, that all of those years that I've been doing this for fun, and now business owners needed my help with uh, needed the knowledge that I'd been gaining. And uh, so I did it, and I had to borrow the money we were getting married in six months on right so three months after the deadline and i borrowed i gambled the money from my from our wedding fund having already um so now now i'm two months behind right and i need to find it, it's easier to get clients on elon because they're all there asking but it's much harder to get clients for yourself so now I needed to go and meet people. And I was told that the way to do this was networking. Go to business networking events and meet. If you don't do networking, you're not going to meet people. They're not going to know that you exist. So I did. I joined BNI. And every Tuesday morning at 3.50 a.m., yeah, I would get up and I would prepare myself to, to get to BNI because Bill has to take me. Um, I wasn't allowed to drive, obviously. He has to take me there. Um, um, and be back home to get the train at quarter past six back to Reading where he worked. So I had to be there at six. Um, and by 11, I was exhausted. And um, but it, Wednesday was recovery day. Tuesday was being I day. Wednesday was recovery day. And, and it wasn't working. And it wasn't working because A, I was too tired to think. B, being in a room full of people. Um, is not my flow either um being extroverted introvert i was in pain um because standing around um all of the the all of the 
networking events be together were just uh, exhausting for me. And one day, I, I went in and the, the chapter director, as they call them, he said to me, um, I need you to get more clients from Red Hill and Rygate, which is where we were. And I said, why? I get, uh, I, I work online. <coughs> and he said, because I need more clients from Red Hill and Rygate. And when he said that to me, it was like a wake up call because I realized that actually I got to, to meet more people online before I got out of bed than I ever would in this BNI event. There were about 20 people at, at, at the meeting. And I wouldn't have to exhaust myself and I wouldn't be forced to do stuff that I didn't want to do. Or, or would find even more difficult because I'm already finding it difficult to go to meetings and every time I've got to go to more meetings to meet more local clients but actually my flow was online and it was that was a wake-up call for me and that was the day that I was done being I because I knew that I was getting creating better relationships online than I was in the room and you no know, ironically all of the clients and there were a few clients that i got from attending bni all came from what happened after the meetings where we connected on twitter and facebook and wherever and the moral deeping relationship and i have not been to an offline networking event now for uh five six years because on facebook you can meet more people and create relationships with more people than you will ever do in offline events. And if attending offline networking events is a challenge for you, and it might not be for health reasons, it might be because the meetings are at a poor time if you've got families, you're going to school. It might be just for any other reason going to networking events, events every week doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Online, we are all equal. I mean, in the room, I struggled to hear what everyone was saying. I struggled to do the standing up bit, you know, when you all mingle. Online, there are no challenges. We are all equal. And so, it's those mild, deep relationships. Now, there is one thing that B and I got very right. I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute. But it's creating mild, deep relationships online that brought the clients that I got. Now I didn't meet that goal. I didn't achieve that goal from January. I did achieve it by the by the time the wedding came around. Um, by the time we got to, to January, having set myself back, um, he knew that he wasn't going to win forcing me back to work. I'd made enough progress for him to see that this could uh, it was going to be okay. And in 2013, so three years later, he was able to quit that job in Reading and come here full time with me. And that was kind of like the closing of that circle where he gave me the space to, to do this. And in exchange, we created uh, an online income that supports the pair of us here and, and the two dogs down there. So, um, it, and it's all about being you. It's about you doing you your way but online okay so let's talk more about how right imagine that you are in Wembley Stadium the Wembley Stadium holds 90,000 people which is um a tiny amount of the number that Facebook contains but you've got you want to tell everyone inside Wembley Stadium what you do you want to share your message you want them you've got a message that they really need to hear and you want to share it but you haven't got a microphone she has in the picture but i'll explain why you don't have a microphone inside wembley stadium how many people are going to see and hear you without the microphone now imagine you're in the tunnel Right? Have you ever gone in a tunnel and gone, woo? And that it, it 
vibrates, right? It reverberates through the tunnel. Now imagine that you've got your audience is in that tunnel and you want to be heard and seen by everyone in the tunnel without a microphone. The people in the tunnel are more likely to hear you. Well, they're going to hear you. The people in the stadium, you might reach a few people that are closest to you, but the majority won't. Now, the, uh, the stadium owners say, hey, oh, you're struggling to get, you. they can't hear you, okay? Here's a microphone. You can use this microphone, but you will have to pay us, you rent this microphone, and you pay for every person who sees and hears you. How much budget do you think you're going to need to be seen and heard by all of those 90,000 people in Wembley Stadium? Now, this is what most people are doing on Facebook right now. They are trying to be seen and heard in the stadium without the microphone. The microphone represents Facebook ads, right? Without a microphone, the number of people who are seeing you and hearing you is minute in the stadium. In the tunnel, without a microphone, the numbers are significantly higher. Now, there are at least two tunnels in Facebook where there is no algorithm either, because in the stadium, the algorithm is, is, is crushing your reach. The job of the algorithm is to keep 99% of content out of your newsfeed. The job of the tunnel is to help you reach the majority of the people in the tunnel. So what my deep marketing is all about is 80-20. It's about 20% of your time in the stadium attracting your ideal clients, putting your flag in the ground, sharing your message, telling them what you're about, posting on your page, posting on your profile, creating expert authority, marketing, advertising if you do advertising, to attract your audience. You spend 20% of your time up there and you incentivize, you invite and incentivize your stadium audience to join you in your tunnels. And in your tunnel, you spend 80% of your time. So the entry to your tunnel is via an opt-in, via a ticket, basically. You bring your ideal clients together in your tunnels, and you spend 80% of your time selling out, serving and selling in your tunnel, creating connection, building trust. And then inviting those who are ready to buy from you. Where they are in the tunnel, they are in the tunnel for you. They are in your tunnel for you. Okay? Now, there are at least two tunnels that have no algorithm applied to them. And most people on Facebook type, pay no attention to the tunnel. By the end of this session, you're going to know what those two tunnels are. And how you can attract your stadium audience into your tunnel. Because your tunnels, my non-prolific posting and content is because probably more than 80% of my time is in the tunnel. So most people don't see me up there because they are, I am down there in the tunnel, right? When you spend the majority of your time in the tunnel, you create a highly engaged community. Right, so let's look at three different ways that you can turn your mild deep marketing into paying clients. Now, the first one is selling, what you are selling. In order to get the maximum number of clients, paying clients from online, activity from Facebook, you want at least one online method of working with you. There is a huge bridge that runs between online and offline. And trying to get an online audience into an offline 
relationship or, or an offline purchase is much harder than online to online. So even when your your flow is to work in person, offline, by adding an online element, you will uh, attract more, you will convert more clients, okay? Then you can continue to do your offline thing offline. But it means that you're not denying the online people who need your help. You're not denying your help to them. But now here's the problem with online program, online offers. And so what most people do, or many people do, and I see this repeatedly, is that they decide that they, yes, that's a good idea. I'm going to create an online program or a premium package. And by online, I mean you can work remotely uh, by uh, Zoom, you know, like I'm talking to you now, or, or it's hands-off, um, or it could be hands-on if you're having weekly meetings or whatever. By offline, I mean actually physically meeting. So you then haven't decided that you're going to do this. You spend weeks thinking about what it's going to include. Then you spend a few more weeks getting up here about whether you can or should do this, whether it, you know, whether you can do this. And then you spend a few months researching which software to you to deliver the content. You spend money buying the software, configuring the software, time and money. Then you spend months creating all the content. And even more months, writing sales copy and building sales pages. And I have seen, I had a particular client who did it. They spent close to a year doing all of the things that I just said, planning everything beneath the scenes. Nobody knew that, that what they were doing. Then they went to sell it. And because they spent so long in in the detail level by the time they came to sell it it was a much bigger challenge than psychologically than it would have been they have way too much attachment to it another client did all of that and somebody else launched before while they were still finicking around behind the scenes that's another danger you know your your audience need help are they going to get it from you or are they going to get it from somebody who, uh, who is already out there offering it. So the easy way, you decide that you want to create an online program or packet, you have a, a, a concept of it, you know what, who it's going to help, how it's going to help them, and, and what it's going to include. Then you go public with it, and you say, this is what I'm doing, this is who I'm doing it for, this is the result you're going to get. Want the information, send me a message, they message you, you have a conversation, you send them a payment link, you get paid and then you deliver the program. Now, that means you can go from concept to payment within days, um, weeks maximum, not months and not years. The sooner you get your content out of your head, the faster you can help your ideal clients get their results and get paid for your effort. Now, once you've been paid, you can invest the profit in buying the software, configuring the software, running ads. You've got once you've been paid, you've got money to spend on ads. Because if you spend too long in the um, in the ideas phase, you're going to run out of money probably. You know, you haven't got the money. Um, where the quicker you get it out there, the quicker you can get paid, and then invest the profit to enroll the next wave of clients. That's the easy way. And you can go from idea to, to payment within days. I can do it in 24 hours. I have done it in 24 hours. Um, but you can, you know, take a week, take two weeks. And if you look around, majority of experts on Facebook are doing it this way. They are telling you that this is coming up. Buy it, then you get it. Then you go through it live with them, right? Now, Cathy Simmons is one of one of my uh, clients. She did this. She had to create her concept for her program, didn't write any copies, sales pages or anything like that, and started to talk about it. And the other thing is because of the way that we create uh, created this program, she was really excited about it. If you can think about any time you've been really excited about something, it's much easier to sell it. And uh, so she started talking about it, and, and clients were just, buying and she's never experienced 
such an easy selling process before. And you know, there was no sales pages or anything. And and it the idea that she was excited about because that was another challenge that I had when I first started doing social media. I used to do social media management, which meant when I got paid, I had to spend time setting up the posts, scheduling posts on on Facebook and Twitter and whatever. And that's not my flow. I wasn't enjoying that at all. And it was energetically um, not what I wanted to do. And so I couldn't sell it. I struggled to sell it. I, I didn't believe energetically that I wanted to do the work, which meant I was repelling the money. So this way, you get super, super excited about your offer. You sell it. You know it's the most amazing thing you've ever offered. And then you get paid for it and then you deliver it. So that you start attracting paying clients very quickly. Number two, Facebook marketing and networking in tunnels so that you're seen and heard more. <coughs> right now, the hard way of using Facebook, when I hear people say to me that Facebook is a time suck, I know that they're uh, making at least one of these um, I don't want to say mistakes, but choices. You spend all of your time on Facebook chatting to friends. If you're doing this, you're making it harder for yourself to attract paying clients on Facebook. If your news feed is full of people that you are unlikely to ever work with, if your friends list contains only your actual friends, if you have to spend ages searching for even one post where your comment will be visible to your ideal client. When you scroll down your newsfeed, how far do you have to go to find posts that you can uh, actively comment on? Now, the easy way is to tightly curate your Facebook feed so that you have to spend much less time scrolling Facebook, but you are much, much more visible to, to your potential prospects to your influencers, to influencers in your space and referral partners. While I might look like I spend all of my day on Facebook, I don't. It, because it's tightly curated, I can go in and out and be very visible and very quickly. When you curate your news feed, it's full of posts that are read by your ideal clients. So you have lots more opportunity to mild, create those mild deep connections and visibility. Your friends list on Facebook contains your ideal clients. It contains people who have your ideal clients in their audience. It contains your peers. It contains learning opportunity. So that when you do scroll your newsfeed, because you don't have to anymore, because you can, you can use your notifications and your friends list, but when you do scroll your newsfeed, the time that you spend is profitable. It's not a time suck. You're networking. You're, it, what you see is inspiring new content. You're creating expert authority. You're building your personal brand and you're magnetically attracting inquiries, new subscribers into your tunnels and paying clients. At least one person every single day contacts me and says it's because they have seen me in, in one of the tunnels. They've seen my post, my mile deep not my post but my mile deep it's the mile deeper that brings the results when you combine it with the 20 percent in the stadium now that applies tunnel marketing tunnel networking but the same thing applies for facebook ads because i said earlier that one thing that b and i got very right was that they teach you to sell through the room, right? Now, the concept behind B&I is that you, you go to a single chapter and you create deep, more deep relationships with the other people in the room. Have, uh, because they've got to know, like, and trust you, it's easier for them to refer you it's easy for them to recommend you, and through the room, you will get more clients, okay? Now, 
the negative is that B and I tractors typically have uh, 20 to 30 members. You're on Facebook, the principle is exactly the same. What B and I teach about selling through the room that work for B and I is the exact same principle that works on Facebook, except your capacity to reach is much higher because your tunnel could have a thousand people in it where your B and I event has got 20 or 30 people in it. But you can create more deep, you create those more deep relationships in the tunnel and earn the attention in the news feed. Now, I mean, let's give me another, let me give you another example. Most people, if you ask most people, they will say, I don't like seeing ads in my news feed. And they would say, I don't like being cold called. I think universally, most of us would, uh, would choose not to be cold called. Um, and some of us, I, not me, I love my ads and my news feed because they're ins inspiring and inspire new content and ideas. But some people will say they don't want ads. However, when you're scrolling your news feed and you see an ad from your friend or, or somebody that you know, you stop and you pay attention to it. If I personally was to call you, it, was, it would be a cold call because you weren't expecting it, but you are more likely to take my call than you are Joe Bloggs' call. And the reason is because before that or, or around that, we have a mile deep connection. So that mile deep connection, a mile deep relationship, is how you can earn the attention in the new space. Does that make sense? So now you do not have, when you focus on mile deep marketing, you do not have to advertise. Um, there's, uh, I, I advertise a lot less than my peers. But there was a, a particular story, and um, I don't know if you remember in 2000, if you were around in 2014, you may remember that I, um, I spoke at an event with uh, Ryan Dye on stage. And to get that gig, it was, um, it was initially a, uh, an affiliate prize. So um, Nick James is a guy who was organising the event. It was Nick James and Dan Bradbury organising the event. And the idea was that if you help them, the person who feels, help them feel most more steep would get the gig on stage. So I decided that, that was going to be me. And I sent out a couple of emails. I wrote a couple of Facebook posts. And then I set up a Facebook ad campaign to my tunnels, right? So the people who already knew me. And one day, um, my, my phone goes off and it's Nick. And he says to me, how are you selling so many tickets to the event? What are you doing? What am I missing? Well, I've sent uh, two emails, yeah. And I've written a couple of Facebook posts, yeah. And I've got a Facebook ad campaign. Uh -huh, right, that'll be it. That'll be it. How much are you spending on Facebook ads? And I said, uh, a pound a day. Now, the reason that I could spend that, he didn't believe me. I had to prove it to him because he couldn't understand how I could only spend one pound a day and still sell more tickets. Now, unfortunately, you can't spend one pound a day on Facebook anymore. You need to spend more than that. But the principle is, the reason I, could only, I only needed to spend one pound a day was because I was in my tunnels. I was only advertising to my tunnels. And because the people in my tunnels already knew, liked, and trusted me, so when they saw the ad, I'd earned the attention. Then, because I said that this would be a good event to attend, because I genuinely believe that to be, even without me, um, I'd already built the, t the trust in the tunnel. So now my ads are getting a better response for less spend, right? Now, for this webinar today, 
I have not used ads. So I have not advertised this webinar today. No money on advertising has gone to promote this webinar today. So with my deep marketing, and the reason being I promoted this webinar today in my tunnels, right? Well, so when you follow the my deep marketing thing, you don't have to run ads, but you can choose to, to increase the visibility that you have in your tunnels, right? Now I have used ads previously, some of you are here because you've been doing the Facebook visibility challenge with me. I've used ads to promote that. Some of you are here because you're on my email list and have joined my email list from downloading um, a freebie that I've used ads to promote in the past, right? But I'm saying that you have, when you apply the mild deep thinking, you have more options. You don't have to spend on ads. And when you do, you, can, you get to spend less to get better results. Because this is an example of an ad campaign that was run to a stadium audience, right? to a cold audience. And at £12.63 per email, right? And this is an example of uh, an um, ad campaign that I ran to promote the challenge to people who had watched. 75% of another video that I'd done. Now, if you've done the challenge with me, we created those, um, I'll show you how to create viewing audiences from a video that you've used. Now, that was a different, because this is tunnel advertising. So now I'm spending £1.86 per email. There's a vast difference. Now, I, I have done a vast difference for, um, for more effect. But it will be, it's three to four times cheaper when you advertise in the tunnel than when you advertise in the stadium. So when you do 20, 80, 20 of your budget, 20 up there and 80 down there, where you earn the attention, you will get better results from your ad as well when you choose to run them. So what we covered so far is that selling is easier when you are fully aligned with every element of your offer when you have an online option for them to buy and you get paid before you deliver it the first time you don't spend time delivering something that you don't haven't been paid for when you get yourself involved in more conversations so you've got an influencer who has posted and they've got lots of comments when you comment the people who have commented before you get to know that you've commented, you're involved in the conversation, right? There's no algorithm in the comments, which is where I spend the majority of my time, particularly in other people's Facebook groups. Don't post in other people's Facebook groups because you haven't earned the attention to be heard. Deep, go deep, earn the attention to be heard, and then they'll come and find you. And then they'll come and uh, join your channel when you've got the option there for them to take, right? So after you, when your ideal clients who are following your influencers and reading their posts, when they see the posts, they will see your comment as well. So you get that visibility. And particularly if the influencer is advertising, because then you get to benefit from their paid visibility as well. And that is how I have spent a majority of my time on Facebook in tunnels because you have a greater reach. You have far more reach and you are going to be heard. If I was to say to you, think of a group that you're in. Name me somebody that you don't know who posted in the last week. Now think of a group that you're in and name me somebody that you had a conversation with in the comments. Chances are that you're much, much more likely to know about the person in the comments that you shared with than the random who posted who hasn't earned your, the right to your attention yet. All right? And then when you advertise, when you do choose to advertise and to focus your advert in the tunnel, A, you already know that they're more interested in you because they, they're already in your tunnel, and B, you'll spend less to get better results. Now, we do need to, it's not as easy as just uh, showing up and having conversation because I was mild deeping on Twitter and Facebook for years before I was making 
consistent income. It took three years before Bill could leave his job, right? Because, uh, and, and during that time, every day, and it would wind me up, but every single day. So, um, well, you know, I would be saying, oh, this has happened, I've had that conversation, and, and this person recommended me, and it was all, you know, well deep wins. And he would go, but that's all well and good, but when are they going to buy? You know, you get that? You get that from your partners, right? <laughs> um, it, it, the problem was, as I said earlier, I was trying to sell done for you social media management when I didn't really want to do the done for you social media management at all, right? So I wasn't truly in love with what I was offering. Once I got that, once I realized that that was the problem and I changed the way, because we're taught from the beginning that we must do and sell what our clients want. Now that's great. We do need to solve a problem that our clients are willing to pay to solve, correct? But if you're told, uh, as you may have been taught, that if you sell this, you, that will get more money than if you sell that. Now that's all very well and good if this is what you absolutely love. And it's also all well and good if the price that you charge for this is truly aligned. But if it's not, if you're increasing your prices because you've been told to or because you think you should, then and, and you're not aligned with it, when you speak about it, you give yourself away. And it's energy that is picked up. And when you speak about it online or offline, your energy is picked up. Now, when you are totally aligned, in love with how and where you show up on Facebook, you know, that's why I'm saying if you try and be your rara when you're not, you're not aligned with it. It's not you, you know? When you are, when you show up in the way that is super easy for you, when you are so so excited about delivering your program or your service and the people that you're going to spend time with helping when that is much much more exciting than the money you will attract more money with it, the money will come easier when you're not focused on the money when you know when you're attracting clients that you absolutely love Business is fun. You're hanging out with people that you would hang out with anyway. And when you are charging an amount of money that you are excited by, right? it's not about selling cheap. It's not about pricing at any one level. But it's an amount of money that you feel excited to receive and excited to deliver. You will attract more paying clients otherwise you'll be energetically subconsciously repelling them and that's what i was doing all the time i was getting this i was energetically repelling once i got it once i stopped and start everything starts with me is this joyful yes this is it is this joy does this feel like a struggle does this feel like wading through treacle you know what i mean uh, nothing it's heavy it feels yuck if you're doing anything like that, if any part of your mind says that this price, you're not deserving of the price, or it's too cheap, or whatever, you're, you've got any negative thoughts about the price, you won't be able to sell it either, right? So we get fully aligned with the offer. So, so excited about delivering the offer, and you will sell it way easier. Now, the other danger is relying on the state and we talked about the algorithm the algorithm um the, the official stats so something like two percent of your followers will see your post in the newspaper the problem is bigger than that the problem is that you it, it's not your platform it's not your tunnel you don't own that tunnel you have no control over that tunnel if facebook decided tomorrow to shut you down to kick you out you would not be able to access any of the people in your tunnel. You'd have, the, the doors to your tunnels would be locked. So it's really important that while you are in your 20% stadium time, 
that you are inviting and incentivizing your audience to join at least one, if not uh, multiple tunnels where you will A, be more visible and B, have more um, possibility. Because if Facebook was to shut down tomorrow or shut you down tomorrow, you would still have access to your database. So it's absolutely vital that you are daily incentivizing your stadium audience into your email tunnel. That's the one that you have control over. You can take that anywhere. Okay. Also, your messenger database. Now, I'm not talking about just randomly messaging people. I'm talking about it's another permission based marketing tool. Now, I don't know if you're aware or have noticed that about uh, probably about a year ago now, Facebook stopped instantly publishing your posts in newsfeed. What they now do is drip it out over three to four days. So that means if you have got an urgent message to share, i.e., you know, I'm going live in an hour, posting on Facebook is not the way to share it. The only way that you get instant visibility now for urgency is in Messenger. And now Messenger is another permission-based um, audience. You invite your stadium audience into your messenger community, and now where you've got urgency, you can message them in messenger, and instantly they receive the message. If your post doesn't have three to four days of life in it, then don't post it on Facebook because it won't get seen in time. Nothing. I find it slightly irritating, I'll be honest, profession time, when I see a post in my newsfeed that says I'm going live in an hour, and it was like two days ago, you know? Um, too late, mate, too late, too late. But Messenger is urgency. So what we can do is we can combine the stadium and the tunnels together. The other way is in a Facebook group. Now, there's a particular way to run a Facebook group to get the best results, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And the fourth way is in your tunnel audiences. So by incentivizing your stadium audience to take this action or that action, and tracking the actions in Facebook audiences, we can now go back in front of the tunnel and be seen and seen again. Because you can't build trust with somebody if you only see them once. So if people are only seeing, if you're relying on the stadium and people only see you sporadically, there will be no depth to that relationship. But when they meet you regularly, and when you can meet them regularly, you will create that, that depth of relationship. Now, the optimum way of, for Facebook groups, combined with the other channels, is to run a conversion optimized online challenge. Now, Facebook visibility challenge. The idea behind that is that you, you serve at a high, deep level. You create content to help your ideal client achieve micro results. And you deliver it to a predetermined schedule. So it's not just a group that you join and everyone bumbles along. There is a, a container. There are, um, it, it's a space where this will happen. This result will happen. This is what you will get from the space. Now, what that does is it fills your email tunnel, first of all, because there's an opt-in with your ideal client. who so are joining your challenge tunnel for you. They are coming to you because it's you and because of the result that you're going to promise them, that, that your challenge promises them. And, you know, everyone's there for you. But the danger is with these online challenges, you see this all the time. The, the, the person delivering the challenge is all about the serving and, and the selling either doesn't happen at all or it's just, a, uh, uh, oh, by the way, buy this. It doesn't work like that. There's a, a bridge. So you, you serve with your content and then you help the people who are ready for the next step. You bridge their path to the offer. And there's a way to create all of that together 
so that each step flows on to the next and that's how the result where the result comes from um, but it means that in this tunnel you can create a more deep connection with your participant because if you join this challenge and you're relatively new to me by the end of the challenge you know me reasonably or you know me a lot better than you did before and if you see me in your new speed now you're more likely to pay attention because i've earned yeah, I've earned your attention until I've lost it. Until I do something to lose it, I've earned it. Okay. So when somebody has served you deeply, they're much, much more memorable to you. And when you serve your client deeply, you will be much, much more memorable to them. And the the results, the connection, the attention, it it, it converts in the short term, but it's long term as well. You know, you earn the right to the attention because not everyone will be ready to, to become a client now. Not everyone's in the in the place where they need your help now, but you've still got their attention because you've earned it. Now, you can be seen and heard by at least 100 people at the same time because they're all together in your tunnel. It positions you as an expert authority on your topic. You now know that I know how to use Facebook. Where I, I could have shouted that for a long time before, but now I've shown you. And if you've got a group that's died down, it's a great way of rejuvenating it. Or if you have aspirations to start a group, it's a great way to, to kick it off, you know, to, to start the group, fuel the group, bring everyone together. Now, Nick James, um, I talked about him earlier, but Nick James recently, um, he ran a free challenge and made uh, thirty to forty thousand pounds in sales from doing a free challenge using my mile deep marketing method. Um, it's still going up every day. It goes up because he's got he's earned the attention and still more clients are coming forward. Um, then he did it again and it, he, he, just, he loved it so much. Just called me up and said, "I want to do it again." So we did it again and it's still bringing results. Now prior to that, the group was very quiet. Um, and when he did um, communicate, few people were listening. But now he's getting more attention. Now, another word on attention, because you might perceive or believe that attention is engagement, and it is not. Engagement and attention are two separate things. You can get attention without getting engagement. And the majority of people who see and hear you will not engage. It doesn't matter. What matters is that they see and hear you and that they come forward. So don't get hung up on how many likes and comments your posts are getting or other people's posts are getting. It means nothing. What matters is the attention that it gets overall. And most of that attention will be private. Okay? So... Um, that, it's an important thing because I think um, we do get caught up on that and you, you shouldn't because that's not the, met, uh, the metric of success, okay? Um, Jeff, now Jeff is quite new, well, at the time was quite new to um, online sales and she created a challenge, got 250 new email subscribers and made £1,300 and um, you know, that was her first income generated online so it was a great way for her to kind of make a splash from the beginning and um, Yvonne, Yvonne did uh, a five day challenge and got five applications for her um, $5,000 program all three of them following the, the mile deep marketing method where each of these steps flow into each other now we can uh, you can go from here and uh, go and figure all of this out. You can go and figure out where all of the mild deep marketing methods are, or I can show you the easy way. So, um, can I show you the easy way? Give me a yes if I can show you um, a quick and easy way for you to get the uh, mild deep marketing results. Thank you. Okay, so. Oh. 
I'm going to show you how you can escape the clutches of the Facebook algorithm, how you can build a highly engaged audience, how you can increase your visibility, and how you can create trust and connection with your community. And the most important thing, ultimately, convert more paying clients. So my Mile Deep Marketing Accelerator program is your quick start to Mile Deep Marketing. We're going to um, do this program in three phases. We're gonna, you're going to learn how you can build your highly engaged audience on Facebook in the stadium and in the tunnels. You're gonna, um, I'm going to help you to create the incentives that incentivize your audience to join your tunnels, your free lead magnets, your online challenge, the bridge, and how you can easily convert your multi marketing into paying clients and inquiries for your online program, which we'll be creating, and your premium packages. Now, phase one, phase one, week one and two, this is a six week program. In week one and two, the priority is going to be on creating your offer, your online program, your premium package, and getting paid for it. The faster you get paid, then if you want to run ads in phase three, you've got money to invest. If you want to use a membership site in phase three, you've got money to invest. But most importantly, you've converted your program into paying clients quickly and proven your concept. You've proven that your audience wants what you're offering. They want to pay to fix the problem that you are solving. So that's how we'll spend our first two weeks creating your, oh my God, exciting, aligned online program or premium package that you can go out and sell. We'll create the core offer. We'll put some amazing bonuses on it. So it becomes a no-brainer offer. And in week two, I'll give you my painless promo copy methods. If you want to write sales copy, this is the quickest and easiest way for you to draw sales copy that your audience are motivated to act from. So phase one is all about the sales. Phase two is all about your lead magnet. It's about creating and publishing your digital assets, your quick PDF, your online challenge, your bridge training, so that you are ready to go into the stadium and in, fill your tunnels with your ideal clients to increase your mile deep opportunity. You will have your mile deep marketing methods mapped out. You will have your lead magnet created and published and ready for you to incentivize, to offer them to your stadium audience to incentivize people to join your channel. And in phase three, which is week five and six, we're gonna be in the Facebook marketing and advertising phase. So now you've got your offer, you know what you're selling and you're excited to sell it. You've got your asset to incentivize people to join those tunnels. In phase three, it's all about how you can combine your stadium and tunnel marketing, networking and advertising to attract more people into your tunnel and then to create those deep, more deep relationships in the tunnel to build the trust and increase your conversion. We'll also, so in this, we'll be doing networking, more deep networking. We'll be doing marketing. We'll be doing Facebook advertising and your messenger bot. We will set up your messenger bot so that if you choose to, you can begin to build your messenger tunnel as well. Now it starts on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, next Tuesday, the 6th of November. Six week program, 12 live online classes. I'll be teaching these classes live this time, okay? After this time, no more live. This is the only time I'll be teaching live. When the sessions are over, well, they will be recorded and you'll be able to download them so that you'll have forever access to the content. So you can watch as often as you want for as long as you want. And you'll be fully supported by me inside the Facebook group as well. Now, Stan Barefoot, Stan Barefoot worked with me um, a, year, a year ago. Um, and when she came to me, um, she had a maid. She'd been struggling to sell for, for the best part of the year, not made much money at all. And I helped her to create 
I showed her my process for creating a program that she absolutely loved, offers that she was truly aligned with, and she went out and sold it. And within two or three days, she'd made more sales than she had for the rest of that year. And then she just uh, went off like a skyrocket selling. Um, and she's now consistently um, making a great income, not from Facebook, but from Instagram for obvious reasons. But what Sam got from me was the, um, the process of creating offers that sell. Now, I'm going to be interviewing Sam tomorrow live on Facebook. So if you want to hear more about Sam's story, you'll be able to do that. But you can, uh, there's more, um, more testimonials and everything on the page as well. Sam hasn't run a challenge. Sam's result came from the program. Um, the other three, Aaron and um, Jeff, created the program with me as well and then did the challenge. Nick was just a challenge. So at the end of the six weeks, you'll have everything you need to plan, promote, and get paid for your online programs and services packages repeatedly because when you can, we'll create one together, but then you'll be able to use the same process over and over again for future programs and packages that you want to add if you want to create more. Um, and now, because for some of you, you might not want to have um, the um, in the in the main work I call these funnel. Okay, so the second part of what we'll be doing is create your funnel. Now, you might not want to have a funnel right now, but even if you don't, you will know exactly how to map out your funnel, how to build your funnel when you do. But if you do, you will leave the program with your funnel in place ready to to go out and make 2019 uh, a stonking year attracting new people into your tunnels via your funnels daily from your stadium and uh, and tunnel marketing networking and advertising so uh, i forgot to say also um you know you might also not ever want to use the the tech, the membership site, or you might not ever want to use the app, but you will leave knowing how to when you do. So this is so that you can uh, pick and choose the elements that you want to do, because it's no good me saying you must do that, 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 and that, and that. The whole point is that you operate from flow, that you do your business on Facebook your way. And I realized this morning when I was looking, just checking through this slide, that I've off with his head, you know? And um, that was my royal reference for this, I've off with his head. But he's bringing you the menu, the butler, has, I've off with his head. But there's your menu. You will have the menu. You will have all of the dishes on the menu. And you can taste the ones that you like and say, I'm doing that. And part, your, part the rest for later if you choose. Or we can do the whole thing together and we will have enough time um, have enough space to do the whole thing it's not complicated unless we choose to make it so and i don't so i'm going to give it to you the easy way now i know that you might be thinking well how do i know that i can make this work how do i know that she's telling me it's true so what we're going to do by the end of the second week if you don't believe you've been to the classes and done the assignment you don't believe that i've given you what you need to convert paying clients on facebook then I'll give you the money back. Because I am confident, I know that I am going to, to, to get you the sales on Facebook. I know that if you follow this method, you will sell your program or package, okay? I believe 100% that. And if you want, you may well think that you're the exception to the rule, so that's the guarantee um, that my uh risk removal process just in case you uh won't need it you won't need it all right now some bonuses so when we create programs like the program itself the accelerator is oh my god exciting i cannot wait to keep this off on tuesday there is pre-work already live you'll be able to get started today with the pre-work but then I, I was thinking about, well, what can I do to make this even more exciting? This is a method. What can I do to make this even more exciting and 
even more likely for you, help you along the way even more to get in the result from each of the three phases. So I've created I've bonuses for you for each of the three phases. And the first bonus is a live virtual mastermind, a Zoom mastermind with my sales coach. This guy is a genius. Uh, Matthew Kimberly is his name. And he will, his uh, brief for this call is to teach you his process for elegant enrollment conversations. So when somebody comes forward and says they're interested in your program and you want to have a conversation, he's going to teach you, show you how to elegantly lead that conversation, elegantly overcome any ob objection, manage the conversation, and when it's right for both of you, invite them to step up, which means more of your conversations will convert. So we're going to do that live on a Zoom. Um, 60 minutes of his time, I've asked him to spend 20, 25 minutes teaching you the method and the rest of the time actually hot seating with you to help you solve your specific personal sales challenges. You'll be able to go to him and say, this is a particular challenge of mine and I have him help you live on that call, okay? So how to convert more conversations into sales with Matthew Kimberly and Q&A and laser coaching with Matthew. And that's worth half, I, get, I pay him to get two of these calls a month and you're getting one. So 500 bucks, I worked it out yesterday, 390 pounds to get this live session with Matthew on Zoom. So it doesn't matter where you are, um, it will be online and you'll get that direct access to him. So that's for phase one, to help you to achieve more sales of your new online or offline package or program. Number two, the biggest challenge that many of my clients have when we do lead magnets is building the pages. Connecting the pages together, making the opt-in form talk to the CRM. So I am going to do that for you. I am going to build your lead page, must have one, your lead page, the page that you send them to, to fill out the form to opt in. I'm going to build the thank you page, the separate page that they see where you can invite them to take the next step to join your challenge or whatever. Then together inside the accelerator, we'll, you'll be creating the copy for the program. And I'm going to create training to show you how to customize the pages to suit your, your own font, your own colors, add your content, etc. Then you'll be able to reuse these pages or copy them for, for later pages if you wish. So once, I've, once you've got the pages, I'll connect them to your CRM for you. Take that pain away because it is an ask like if you don't know how. And I'm going to install your Facebook pixel. So when we talked about tracking your audiences earlier, you need the Facebook pixel to do that. I'll put the pixel on so that you can do that. You can be tracking your audience activity. Now, that's worth at least 500 pounds because it's uh, my done for you, okay? Now, these pages are gonna be in one of two different softwares. So I'm gonna show you both and you get to choose. The first one is a squeeze page toolkit, which is universally the most easiest page building software you will ever find. It's standalone, so it works. It can work separately of your website or as part of it. And um, you can, uh, it's uh, £10 plus that a month to use three pages on there, or £29 a month to have 10 pages. So that's one option. So then what happens, I'll give you the page, you open it in your account and off you go. The other option is ClickFunnels. In ClickFunnels, um, you will be able to use what they call a sharing plan. Um, so you'll be able to use the funnel that I create for you, um, the two pages in the funnel that I create for you for about $20 a month. Um, or you can go full in and it's $97 a month. I would recommend, in all honesty, for most of my audience that you use Squeeze Page Toolkit. Take the smallest plan, get these pages working. You've got enough pages there to create a sales page as well. Get these pages earning you money, and then you can uh, switch upgrades later 
thought the higher plan but these are perfect because it doesn't matter um if your website goes down and they all do occasionally you've got this page separately and um, but you can also use it as part of your website and the best thing is that squeeze page toolkit is so easy but i'm going to give you a full training video so that you can watch over my shoulder as i'll show you how to do all of the editing and, and finish it off so within about 30 minutes you'll have your page ready to go live once you've finished creating and publishing the lead magnet that we'll do inside the accelerator so that taking the tech challenge away from you because it is a huge problem for many of my clients if you're not tech orientated it it's a challenge and it might be a reason why um you you put off going live with your lead magnet don't take that away make it easy for you and the third one is around for phase three i'm going to teach you a live uh, live session on a story selling now back in march this year i had coaching from a guy called michael hay michael hay is um a hollywood storyteller he's also will smith the, the will smith go to the story when will smith is putting his films together he he hires michael to come in and and create the story and make sure the story is as compelling as it should be now when you are marketing on facebook it is the stories that sell okay so i'm going to give you access to michael's story six step story method and then we're going to do a live session together with it um, to make sure you fully understand it okay so in future when you're crafting your copy your post your emails you'll know how to structure a story that resonates enough with people that they want to give you my or they want to take the action that you're asking them to take the stories that will create more rapport more connection and conversion when you tell them online as taught by uh, michael now michael won't be teaching you live um, i have asked him um, and that may come in as a surprise bonus later um, but i'm going to give you his teaching and then we'll do a live um, masterclass around it but if you look him up he's the guy uh several um will smith testimonials of him there were interviews of him with will smith as well top guy lovely guy um i worked with him privately um at the beginning of this year so he's the guy he's the master of story and many of the experts um and russell brunson he's been taught by michael um uh andre chaparron if you've come across him and he's also a spot on madness he too was taught by michael so this is the guy and you're going to learn the story structure direct from him so let's just recap you're going to get the mile deep marketing accelerator program six weeks 12 live online sessions with me and we start on tuesday um you're going to get the round table with matthew live you're going to get the done for you lead page that i'm doing for you and the thank you page and the pixel and the uh connecting it to your crm you're going to get the live storytelling structure masterclass with me and these are exclusive bonuses to the live realm there will be no live coaching call there will be no live lead page building there'll be no live storytelling class when you purchase when you join after the uh, live program begins so until monday at five o'clock you can join for 850 pounds You'll get to do the whole program live with me at mildeepmarketingmethods.com. And there's an installment option that means you can join today for £99. If that's uh, easier for you, that option is there as well. So the lowest cost way of joining is to pay in full, but there are um, four pay, there's a four pay option and a £99 a month option if that's easy. Because I want you to really be able to master Facebook and 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 know how to make the most out of mile deep marketing because it's going to serve you um for a long 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 time it served me for 20 years there is an upgrade option available once you've joined the accelerator on the thank you page you can see an option 
to upgrade. If you know you want more of my one-to-one -one help, so you'll have one-to-one -one time with me. In, where in the accelerator, I'm giving you the top, the first two pages of your funnel. In the incubator, you'll get all of the pages for your funnel built for you. Um, you'll also get three months access to ClickFunnels included and several other uh, unlimited access to me on Messenger and email for 12 weeks. So all of that will be on the thank you page. If that's uh, of interest, just fill in the form and we'll have a conversation to make sure that that's a good fit for you. So to go to mildeepmarketingmethod.com, sign up for the accelerator and then see on the next page what you think about incubator and um, you'll be able to upgrade later to that. So <clears throat> Margit Marketing Accelerator is for you if trust is a big part of your sales process. So oh, it's a marketing process. So when clients buy from you because they trust you, so your coach or trying to consult and heal a service, service provider, freelancer, and you do already or you want to sell your knowledge, um, so you want to create online programs, or an online program, so that you've got an online option, and attract clients nationally and or globally. I'm not going to promise you globally, um, but the, the, that because uh, communities are um, you know, friends all over the world now. It, it's possible, but if you don't, then um, it, it's not. Those are the people that it's going to work best for. If you're not sure, message to me. So we start on uh, Tuesday. And uh, every Tuesday and Thursday at four o'clock will be the live sessions. As I said before, they'll be recorded. You can't make any or all of them. And you will have lifetime access um, when you download the content to keep for yourself. The final week um, is on Monday and Tuesday. It's the only difference. Every five weeks of Tuesday and Thursday and the final week on Monday and Tuesday. So the question for you is, with my help inside the accelerator, do you think you could plan, promote, and get paid for your new online program or package of services that you are excited to deliver and be enrolling clients into them. Grow your email list and your messenger list by creating lead magnets that your audiences are eager to access, your stadium audience is eager. Attract new inquiries and subscribers daily when you know how and where to mile deep, capture the attention, of the people whose attention that you want. Host your own free online challenge that brings you an additional 1,300, 10,000, 30,000 pounds the first time that you run it, because then you can replicate the same challenge over and over again, even automate it. If you want to deliver it live the first time and automate it for future, you can do that as well. You'll know how to do that. And get Facebook ads working for you. When you choose to run them, and you understand how the platform works and how to show your ad to the people most likely to say yes. And looking further ahead, so that you can build a business that you love, where every day has joy in it, where you're working with clients that you love spending your time with, where you're doing work that you love, work that you love, and it feels like this is so much fun and so easy for me, but I get paid for this and I'm getting paid better than I've ever had before when I was struggling, wading through treacle. Or while being new on Facebook, working to your personality type, not having to be rara, mild deep marketing, showing up as yourself, being who you truly are and not having to fit other people's uh, ideals of you. Create your own. Um, brand but the alternative is that you stay up in the stadium and carry on and potentially the battle's going to get harder even in the last week or so that algorithm is getting tighter and tighter but it's never i've never lost any sleep about the algorithm because i spend most of my time in the tunnel so that's what we'll be doing um you'll lose once you've earned their attention, if they're not, if they stop seeing and hearing you, you're going to lose their attention and they'll drift off to somebody else. So when you focus in your tunnels, you'll be showing up. You'll be more present to them more often. When uh, you're putting the effort into the mild deep thing, but then repelling them by trying to sell something that you're not fully aligned with, 
paying over the odds for your Facebook ads. I mean, it's so easy to spend a fortune on Facebook advertising. But if you focus 80, 20 in the tunnels, you will increase the conversion and pay, have, you know, need less of a budget or no budget at all. You can choose not to. It all depends how, um, how visible you want to be, how many clients you want to attract because, you know, two or three clients might be fully booked for you. In which case, you don't want to spend on advertising. You can do that organically as you don't want to. But the point is, you get to choose. You get to do it your way. And, uh, you know, when you keep trying to reach the 2% in the stadium, when you could go deeper and be seen and heard by closer to 100%. Messenger and comments. No algorithm at play right now. 100% of your messenger messages are seen or delivered pop up on the screen. You're not fighting the algorithm in the comments either. So, you know, mile deep marketing. It's a lifelong skill. Oh, oh, what I'm doing here with this. Um, before, before Facebook, I was doing it on Twitter. Before Twitter, I was doing it in forums and other kinds of text chat. I've been doing it for 25 years. The process is the same. You just pick it up and you take it anywhere. You've got your database, you pick your database up and you take them to the next platform. Now, you know, I've heard it being said, oh, you know, blah, 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 Facebook algorithm, LinkedIn, no algorithm. Every online community will at some point have algorithms at play that will restrict your visibility. But mild deep marketing, you, you can invade it. You can't invade it full stop because it will still apply somewhere. But it won't have the clutches on you that it does when you're trying to compete with stadium level visibility. Go deep, go down. And it will give you the serve and sell. It's not all about all serving or all selling. Serve and sell. Serve and sell. Visibility suits your personality type. So my my clients have paid me much more money than you've got to pay me for this, and you're going to get it all live from me. So because you live this time, you're going to get direct access to me for questions. If you tell me, I mean, I'll, I'm going to teach as clearly as I can every step of this process. But if you tell me that something isn't clear, I'm going to teach it again. And that's the benefit that you're going to have as part of the live program because we can do that. We can create, we can go off tangent if it helps you to, to implement what what you're learning. You're going to get that direct access to me. So mildeepmarketingmethods.com is where you can get all the info and join. And until five o'clock on Monday, remember, remember, £850 on at 5.01 on Monday, it goes up to uh, 9.99. We start Tuesday. Pre-work is already live inside the Facebook group. You can join today and get started on the pre-work today. First class is Tuesday at 4 UK time. MildeepMarketingMethod.com So right, have you got any questions about anything that I've covered? I'm going to have a look in the Q&A box. If you've got any questions that I can help with, type to me. Let's go to the top. Um, how do we spend time going more deep with our news feed when we have our own page feed, Facebook page, but also a business page? So much of the more deeping that we do will be via your personal profile because your personal profile is you. And when you go to a networking event, you don't send a billboard or, or an A board to the networking event. It's you personally. But uh, and when um, and not but and when clients hire you or when clients buy from you, it's you that they're hiring. So the relationship, the trust that they form is with you, not a logo and not a page. So what we do is we use the page as your brochure, and that's one of the pre-work. Um, assignments is looking at how to optimize your page for the results. 
So you then use the personal as the networking tool. Uh, um, from you showing up, so like if you go to a networking event, um, and in order to get the best out of networking events, you go and work the room, right? And in your hand, you have a brochure, and you say to them, uh, blah, 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 and you talk to them, and they say, hey, I've got this brochure if you want more info. They're more likely to read that brochure or look at it because you've earned the attention on that brochure through your conversation. And that's exactly how Facebook works as well. When you are the brand, there isn't or shouldn't be any distinction between personal you and uh, pages, but we use them together. So page is more stadium, the personal is more uh, tunnel, but we use them together. To Together, they, they hold more power. Um, can we how is that about you? feed being curated okay when I talked about the feed being curated what I mean is for um, for many of many of you you might perceive that what you see in your news feed is what Facebook decides to show you but that doesn't have to be true. You can decide to about 80% what you see in your news feed. So when I talk about curating your news feed, I mean, um, the first thing that I do is, well, not the first thing I do, one of the things that I do is to create um, a friends list. And a friends list is notified me when anyone that I want to see post so I can go and mile deep with them that's one thing the second thing that I do is use C first and C first is put when you have someone on C first any time that they post their post will go to the top of your news feed so that's another thing I do the third thing that I do is when I see something in my news feed that makes me uh, is not vibrating with me, I remove it from my newsfeed. And when I remove it from my newsfeed, I unfollow the person or the page. And I do that because I don't want to unfriend them because I don't want to remove the conversation completely. I want to still be able to mile deep and still engage with the conversation, but in my own time. So then my news feed, when I go through my news feed, I can do uh, three or four scrolls and I have 10 posts that I want to comment on and that when I do increase my visibility, because they increase my visibility because I'm either commenting on a post to somebody that I'm forming a relationship with or I'm commenting on a post from somebody that I'm forming a relationship with who is, that is being read by more people that I want to form a relationship with. So um, if you haven't yet downloaded my free Facebook visibility guide, you'll be able to get more on that in, in the guide. But we're also, um, if you've done the free challenge, we've done some of this in the challenge. But if you join Accelerator, you'll have access to all of that content inside Accelerator. And we'll be talking about it in much, much more detail in phase three and four, because there's more to it than that. Um, but it, the, the point of it means that when I spend, or when you then spend 10 minutes in your news feed, it's a, a profitable 10 minutes for you rather than a time start. That's the point. Then you have the option to time start when you've done the profitable stuff. You know, you know how I'm, like in the, uh, the most recent um, iOS, uh, iPhone update. I've started telling you how much screen time you average, haven't I? Um, you average five hours or whatever. That for me is is an opportunity because it's like I've spent five hours on average mile deeping. If that if five hours is my thing, it's not about three. I think um, I've spent three mile deeping, but I don't have to spend three. The point is, I can because I choose to, but I don't have to in order to get the visibility. I can go in and out and get the visibility in five minutes because it's curated. That makes sense. Um, during the online class, we'll be able to ask you, absolutely. The online class 
we'll be done by them and um we'll, we'll be talking you'll be able to talk to me talk back at me um uh, talk back at me don't talk back at me um that's the truth no um we'll, we'll be able to have conversation and it's going to be a it's going to be more workshoppy than this so that we're actually doing stuff in the class so it's not just me talking at you um we'll actually be getting stuff done and what is the crm um apology should not use jargon a crm is in the context that i've used it it's um the software that you use to send emails to your list so it might be mailchimp or uh a, a, a active campaign so you know when you go to somebody's um website and they've got a form that you fill in to join their newsletter or whatever reason they've given you when you fill that in you get added to their database and uh it means like an email you so when you have a opt-in page you um the form needs to be connected to that software. That's the bit that I'm doing for you. Does that make more sense? It's both me and my business partner. No, if you've got a business partner, if you work with somebody and, and you both want to participate, um, you'll have one login, but we can have both of you in the group. So you can have the uh, both come on the calls as well, no problem. We've got a few people doing that already. Um, does the methodology work in LinkedIn as well? The mild deep aspects of it absolutely do. Um, the, some of it will be Facebook featured based. So I'll be talking to you about some of the stuff that you can do in Facebook, which won't exactly translate to LinkedIn. But the, the whole conversation and content and well deep part of it will work in LinkedIn, LinkedIn's way. Does that make sense? Um, I think they're doubling down on groups in LinkedIn as well now. So you may well in time be able to do the whole online challenge on LinkedIn as well. But I'm not the guru of LinkedIn. But like I said, before I was doing all of this on Facebook, I was doing it on Twitter. So, uh, and before Twitter, I was doing it on forum. So you better, the same process will work, um, but some of the features will be different for, because they'll be unique to the, to the brand. Um, how many should be on your friends list? As many as you would like. Um, most people won't post that often. Um, so you, uh, you add as many. Can a page be on your friends list? No, it is friends. It's Facebook friends. So you'll need to be friends with them first um, and then you can add them. So the other thing that I do, one more quick thing that I do is when people talk about, when people that I have in my newsfeed talk about other people, I'll stop, read what they're saying and, and expand my network that way. You know, if someone's saying, oh my God, this, this person's amazing, e.g. graphic designer and they've just done some amazing work, brilliant because now I can my deep network with this amazing graphic designer, e.g., right? So it, it's to be aware of what's going on around you as well. So uh, let me look in this one. I've got multiple Q&A boxes. <laughs> uh, little bit of 4.31 in Seattle. Oh, my God, that's hardcore. Um, <laughs> that's hardcore. Okay, so my AirPods have just died. Um, one minute. Add back up. We have a backup plan, always good. I knew that might happen. Um, right, so any other questions uh, in my question box? And um, if you've missed any, there will be a replay. Um, so let's just shut that and go back. So my deep marketing methods is where you can get the info and join. If you've got any questions um, relating to your specific situation that you want to talk to me about before you join just drop me a facebook message um, and i can help you decide um, so let's just recap what you get um, those are live bonuses so they will be no live bonuses after this live round live is the word of the day um, this is a live program and you get direct access to me direct access to matthew and um, each other, more deep with each other as well. So until five o'clock on Monday the 5th, five, five, 850 pounds, or you can join for 99 pounds today and pay 99 pounds a month, 
um, if that's easier for you. We start the first class on Tuesday the 6th. Pre-work is already in the group, so you can join uh, the group today and get on with the first two pre-work sessions. There'll be one more pre-work session before Tuesday. Um, and we're, we're looking at getting your foundations in place. If you haven't done the challenge, that is also in the group for you to be able to work through that at your own pace as well. Um, I'll get the, my VA doing the transcript for the challenge um, as we speak, so you'll have those soon as well. Um, and uh, first class will be at four o'clock on Tuesday afternoon UK time. So mildeepmarketingmethods.com and um, oh, I think we are done. Check. Uh, what time are the classes? Be four o'clock UK time on Tuesday and Thursday. If you can't make um, any of them or all of or any or all of them, any or all of something, um, they'll all be recorded. You'll have the recordings um, by the morning after, and I'm going to make it so that you can download them. So if you wanted to uh, put them on your um, uh, on your device and, and list them um, later, and it means you can access them wherever because uh, they'll be inside the membership site, but you'll be able to download them from there. Oh, I forgot something as well. In phase three, when we put the foundations into place and put stop putting some tech into place if you want to and the ad we um, i'm going to introduce you to a new membership site software um which is currently free for up to 50 users so if you decide at phase three that you want a membership site we you're going to stay inside it as a user and i'm going to give you another um session uh, another training on how it is from an admin perspective so that if you decide that you want a membership site, so I'm going to shortcut that research for you with this new, it's quite a good um, platform. It's free for the first 50 clients that you have in there. Um, and they've got all gamification, so we can have badges and stuff. And it's brand new and the, the owners are um, developing it as we go. So you're going to get in at the beginning. So you're going to get that as a, an extra um, access to that as an extra. So, uh, I think that is it. So, any questions, message me. And um, what was that on my screen? End of slides. <laughs> right, any questions, message me, mildeepmarketingmethods.com. And um, I'll see you inside the group. So, thanks for being here with me. And um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.